Hey, what's going on everyone? Today's March the 6th, 2023. We're going to talk about the SPY today and try to see whether or not the market's going to go up. Is it going to go down? Is it going to go sideways? Who knows, right? Well, actually the price chart tells us which, from a probable standpoint, it lets us know which direction price is easier to move. So we're going to look at the chart right now in the SPY to try to get an idea as to are the buyers in control or is it the seller? So real quick, I wanted to show you all the three weekly chart in the spy give you all a longer term viewpoint as to how the market has been trading it's in a bull run right the market is definitely in a massive uptrend in the spy right now taking in a little bit closer to over the last couple of three weeks you guys can see that we're pretty much been the market has been battling battling it out between the buyers and the sellers all right we just pretty much seen the market trade sideways ever since may of 2022 to current day the market really hasn't garnered a massive direction that we can clearly tell that is a trend this is the only trend that we're getting so far into the market in the spot okay now let's look at this on the monthly time frame now let's break this down from a monthly chart and a lot of the times that we see price in the spy go down the following month price goes back up this is how you can tell that buyers are still into the market like so from the month of june 2022 take a look at that market went down right well, then the next month, the market went up in July. Take a look at this monthly price bar in September. Market went right back up the following month. And then it even followed through with another up month in November. Then December, price went down. Well, look at January. Price went right back up. So this is where the battleground has been created for the market participants. So what we're going to do here first is we're going to delineate where we're seeing the buyers. Okay, so the buyers are down here around like $360 or 360 points. And the sellers is currently being seen here. Okay, every time price in the SPY runs up to around $420, it gets rejected and comes back down. Now take a look at this though. When you look at these price bars, you can tell ever since October, the market has been making lower highs. The market has been inching ever so slightly higher. That tells you that the buyers have a leg over the sellers. So from a monthly perspective, it looks as if the buyers has control of the market in the SPY. Now look at this on the five weeks. Look at this last completed five weekly price mark. Okay. We're holding, the buyers are holding the zone. Like they're looking for something, something to catapult it outside of this trading channel. Now we have four days, which is this trading week right here on this current five weekly price bar. And if the market remains tight on this price spread and let's say that the market closed up here the high of the bar in the next four days then the market definitely is bullish and we we, we will look for price to continue to trend higher in the spot okay here it is on the two weeks take a look at as last week's price action so there's still some emphasis of higher prices in the spot now i'm not going to be massively bullish like i'm not going to push that on my subscribers or those who follow me i want to be realistic in terms of how we can view prices and where they're going to go so if anything i will say 410 dollars would be my first target then 420. those are the two areas that i would suspect sellers to come into the market in the spy okay take a look at this even here on the five day chart i mean a weekly time frame we're in a trend market is trending higher into the spy so again, a lot of emphasis on the price chart is showing us that the buyers currently is trying to move this market higher in the spot. It's just that simple. Nothing is complicated when it comes to the market. It's just the individuals who participate in the stock market makes it complicated for you. Look at this on the five day. Take a look at this on the three day. Two day. And now the daily. So let me go ahead and put this on the chart and I'll be through. And then we're going to bring up this magnifying glass so you guys can see my price targets. So like I said, that first target is going to be $410. Now that's 1.43% market move higher, $410 there. Then I said my second target would be around, let's do $415. That's 2.7% moving higher, $415.25, give or take. And then my third area is going to be around $420. Now from a longer term perspective, we really want to see price break outside of this training channel to the upside above 420. Now, as long as the SPY trades above this particular area here, we're going to look for the market to 
show us an emphasis of higher prices, okay? And that's around um, $388. It's really down here around $380. So I'll do that. All right, so I'm done. Give me your thoughts. Let me know how do you guys suspect the market and the SPY is going to trade. As of right now, we're going to play some strength on the chart and the market and the SPY off of the information that we have currently seen displayed off of the charts. But if you think otherwise, it's simple, it's cool, no problems. Just drop the comment in the comment section and tell me your price prediction. Make sure you maintain the profitability and as always, trade different.